All right, so welcome everyone. Good to see some a good number of folks here for our very first Tuesday Tech Talks. Uh, thought we could do this for folks, uh, you know, to provide some timely training in a safe manner uh, for you when it makes sense. We'll also be archiving these recordings uh, to my YouTube uh, Tuesday Tech Talk playlist, and I'll give you the link for that at the end. Uh, the link, uh, that bit.ly link will work every week. It's going to be the same uh, for each weekly topic. Uh, and so we'll try to keep it as simple and short and sweet as possible for you. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about Nearpod. So I'm going to, I would like to model Nearpod for you. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of interactivity, a little bit of questioning, uh, and we'll let you experience uh, the Nearpod videos firsthand. So uh, head to join.nearpod.com, or I will throw this link. I'll try to throw this link. There we go. Into the chat, and then you can just click on that in the chat. Let's see. Chat one. Okay. Don't have a camera or a mic, but you're here. That's fine. <laughs> as long as you can see what's going on and can participate with the uh, with the with the Nearpod, we'll be good to go. So let me click on that. And it's okay if you don't have the. Uh, the, the Zoom screen up in front because whatever, I'm gonna be jumping to the Nearpod presentation. So as long as you have uh, the Nearpod window up and you can still hear me, uh, then you'll be good to go. And I'm just gonna join along so I can make sure that I'm seeing what you guys are seeing. Okay. So again, the link's in the chat. If you wanna quickly click that to join. And I'm going to jump over here to the uh, to the Nearpod slides. Maybe change my screen there. Playing. Let's see how many we got. We got seven in there so far. Let me put the. Uh, if you want to go back to uh, the Zoom screen, the instructions are there, and I'll also type in the the link to jump into the to the uh, Nearpod into the chat as well, so you can quickly jump in. Don't need to worry about putting your official name here. Uh, I do have a, a slide that'll let you put in uh, your your name and your your email address to take attendance near the end. So let a few more people get joined in. Uh, while we're waiting for that, uh, if you're new to Nearpod or if you want to make sure you have a copy of these slides, on the top right of your, of your Nearpod window, you should see a little note icon. If you click that and just say, send me the notes via email or save to my Google Drive, whichever one you'd like to choose, uh, all the links, all the slides, everything will be shared with you as soon as I end the, uh, the session today. A uh, handy way to, to use this with your students as well so that they've got, they've got a copy. Okay, 15, and that's, that's getting close. Uh, I'll paste the chat, the link in there one more time. Again, I don't want to waste time with you guys today. We want to get going. Um, so let's, let's just keep moving on. Oh, there's Bryant coming in late. I'll paste in there one more time for Bryant. He can, can hopefully figure out how to get get into the slides here as we go. Okay, so first off, I'm Clint. Uh, good to see you guys. We're doing this for the Southwest Region of Schools. Uh, Brian, if you're just joining in, check the chat. I've got a link there to join the Nearpod session that we're, we're doing. Uh, someone's in Nearpod on their phone, that works too. If you're on another device or another just tab in your, in your computer, that works great. Um, my, uh, Yep, and I reminded everyone how to save your Nearpod notes. Again, if you're coming in a little late, there's an icon on the top right of your Nearpod screen that looks like a little pencil and paper. Click on that and choose uh, how you want the notes to be delivered. And then you can also use that little slide out to take notes on any slide as we go. Uh, nice little Nearpod feature. We're not really focused on Nearpod today. We're just gonna take a little chunk uh, of the Nearpod video, but let's give you a little bit of background on Nearpod and why, why we're covering this for everyone in the region. And, you know, pretty much everyone in the state. 
uh, just about a month ago, uh, UEN negotiated a five-year statewide uh, contract with Nearpod for their, uh, for their platform plus uh, some additional optional add-ons. There's three extra libraries that um, you'll have access to, uh, plus the video tool that we're going to show today. And I'm not sure of the fifth one, but, but I'm sure it's fantastic. Uh, it's an exclusive discounted license for all K-12 schools. Every district in the region uh, has either done the onboarding. Everyone has signed up. Uh, I just don't know how far along the, the onboarding process that each district is with Nearpod. I know Kane's set up and ready to go. Um, I know, I think Drake is Millard set up, good to go. Thumbs up if you are. Yep, so Millard's good to go, thank you. Uh, but the other districts we're working on. Uh, so, but the good news is, is that if you just go to nearpod.com slash login, and I'll give you a chance to do that uh, at the end of my presentation, I'll give you a chance to kind of poke around. Uh, just as long as you log in, uh, if, you have, if you have a school account, either an existing one or, or just any account that's tied to your school email, uh, your account will be upgraded to the full license and all the extra add-ons as soon as your district is onboarded. Uh, so at the end, we'll go to, I'll we'll give you a chance to go to nearpod.com slash login, use the login with Google button, use your school email credentials, uh, and we will, you'll be in and, and good to go. Uh, and we'll certainly revisit Nearpod uh, on future sessions of Tech Talk, to, Tuesday Tech Talks. I couldn't decide between Tech Talk Tuesday and Tuesday Tech Talks, but we landed on the latter. So, And for those people just joining in, uh, there's a link in the chat for you to join the Nearpod session uh, in progress. And um, there is additional training, webinars, videos, and so many other resources. Uh, at uen.org slash nearpod to get you up and going. Uh, and feel free to, and to reach out to me uh, anytime if you have nearpod questions, I'm happy to help. Okay, so let's just do a quick little survey for you. There's Bryant trying to come back in, unless we have another Bryant. Let him in. Uh, please, on your screen, you should see, I uh, just want a little situation check. I wanna know what, uh, where you're at as far as your, your learning environment is right now. Uh, and this is a select all that apply. So are you teaching all, all or mostly, uh, most of your students remotely? Uh, are you um, in a blended or hybrid environment where you have some students some days uh, in person, they're remote some days? Uh, are you almost completely in person, but a few kids uh, have opted for remote learning or are you 100% uh, in person with your students? So, so we have some, some responses coming in. I'll wait a few more seconds before I share the results with you. You can kind of see uh, if you're looking at, if you're not looking at the new, your own Nearpod window, if you're looking at the, the Zoom sc share screen, you can see what the, the teacher's seeing in here. That looks pretty good. So let me share those results out with you. So it looks like 43% were mostly teaching in person with a few remote students. Oh, wow, that only 30% um, are are 100% in person with your students. I hope that uh, that number rises in the future. I know there's some schools up north that are having issues. Um, have, we, have we had to close any schools or let any classes go, go home in our region yet? Um, unmute your mic and say yes or no, or if you've heard of any. I haven't heard of any so far in our, in our region, besides kids that have just opted out to begin with. Anyone? Okay, fair enough. So I'll stop sharing that. Um, just know that the nice thing about, whoops, I skipped a slide. No, I didn't. It's on, the, it's on this next slide. So um, as we shift, uh, the Nearpod video allows us to shift uh, some, so what can be some passive learning uh, with, with video uh, into an active learning experience. Uh, I know you guys are all using video really well. You, you know, a lot of great things on YouTube. I have, uh, you can upload your own videos and I have a little asterisk there uh, because there is a lot of great uh, video resources available to you in, uh, in, in eMedia, which is, you can find it through the Utah's online library through UEN. Uh, and those videos you can download and then upload and use uh, in Nearpod. So you've got great educational, you know, those videos have been uh, reviewed by Utah educators that are aligned with the Utah 
core standards uh, and you don't have to go out and buy them or anything. And you don't have to dig for hours on, on YouTube. But if you have some great YouTube videos or your own videos that you want to use or you know, videos that you've recorded in your own class, uh, your own instruction, then once that video is in Nearpod, you can really easily add as many multiple choice and open-ended questions as you wish. Uh, and you do get the analytics. You get to see uh, how your students did on each one of the questions, uh, who's struggling with what uh, in the reports after the video has been viewed or after the lesson with the video has been used. Uh, and if you want to just kind of see what it looks like to start, uh, Nearpod has a library of over a thousand videos that are standards and grade aligned uh, for use right away, which is nice. Uh, and so, you know, if, if we are flexing between classroom and distance and hybrid and that kind of stuff, using Nearpod and Nearpod video, whether your students are with you or whether they're remotely or whether it's a blend, you can give the same lesson at the same time with your, with your live kids and your remote kids and have everyone interacting and, and, and responding together. Uh, regardless of what type of activity or device they're on, uh, those videos will, will shift with you uh, and help you navigate what we don't know is, is coming up. So it's a great tool. Like I said, we'll, we'll get more into Nearpod as we go. If you haven't ever used or heard of Nearpod before, uh, very, very similar to, to what uh, Pear Deck does. Works very similarly. And you can also share your videos with students in three ways. We're doing this live participation where everyone's together. Uh, I'm controlling the slides. If you're in my presentation, my Nearpod slides, I'm controlling the pace and letting you see what you want to see. You can also create lessons that are student paced. Uh, paced. Great to, to post on Canvas or Google Classroom uh, to, for kids to do as, a, as homework or whatever. But they can go through their own pace, watch the videos and answer, rewatch sections, uh, you know, and, and and give you that sort of feedback that Nearpod allows you to do uh, with, with all of its uh, many, many type of responses that you can do. Or there's a new front of, front of class view where if you're just projecting your screen and your students don't have the devices in front of you, you can still use the video to facilitate uh, your collaborative discussions. I'm running short on time. So let's take a, a quick look. This is a minute long video. Uh, I'm gonna play it on my Nearpod screen. Uh, when I do, choose, go to choose it, uh, or go to the slide. I have the option to show whether I want the video to show on your devices or on this device only. And I'm just gonna say, I'll apply that for the rest of this lesson. Uh, but you do have that choice uh, once they come. So pay attention. Here we go. Okay, now on your screen, I'm gonna hide student names. You have an open-ended question. What do you think the term digital footprints mean? And, ooh, did my Chrome die? <laughs> as long as you can still see my presentation, I'm okay. Um, and I think you are still seeing it. So uh, please enter something, it doesn't have to make sense. Uh, I'll show you the, re you can see the responses on the Zoom window, uh, but if you jump over to the Nearpod window, and just reply to that question. Uh, I can see as your responses come in. So on my monitor, I'll say, like walking on the beach, but online, question mark. And I'll submit that. There we go. What we post online, good. I Means someone will still be able to see where you've been. There's, there's my stupid answer. <laughs> the marks you leave on the keyboard. <laughs> okay, and if I want to share, I like this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with the rest of the class. What we do is online forever, like a fossil. How true that can be, especially photos. Uh, you know, those things you can't get back. Here's another one I like that I can share with the rest of the class. Everything you do on social media, any post you make, any social media account you have. Okay, so appreciate those of you who responded and played along. When I click next, watch what happens. Ah, don't do that. Don't do what I do. Just hit the uh, collapse. There we go. And hit the play button again. I knew this too.
Chris says, I love the eyes up front message. Yeah, that's nice too. And so now we've got uh, a, uh, another question for you. What's the images from the video, the lighthouse copier? And you don't have to answer it as long as you get the idea that, you know, and I didn't put in a multiple choice question because I didn't want to, you know, just put one in to, to, to put one in. This was one that I, that I pulled from the, from the Nearpod library. From the, they've got a bunch of videos from the, from the uh, Creative Commons or commonsensemedia.org slash education um, that, are, that are great. Um, and they have a ton, like I said, over a thousand other videos on all kinds of different subjects and, and grade levels and things like that. So that's one that they did. How do I do a video from YouTube? And so you can pre-add uh, videos. There is a, a Google Slides add-on where you can take your Google Slides and add these Nearpod uh, videos and slides and activities and polls and things like that right from within that. And maybe I'll show it from there. If I click add activity right here, um, I guess I could show both quickly if I go fast. If I add activity, I've got, I can throw, them, throw you guys to a web page, open-ended question, uh, where's my video? I guess I can't add a video from there. I thought I could. Um, I did before. I swear I tested this. <laughs> oh well. So let's switch back. You guys see and um if I go back to Zoom. Let's see. Yeah, okay, I'll show you from from my if you switch back to the Zoom window, I'll show you there. I swear I I tested this beforehand. All right, so I want this video right here. I'm gonna copy the link. I've got the multiple choice questions that I want for it. So it under add-ons. I've got it installed already, but if you don't have it, you can go to get add-ons and Nearpod will be one of the add-ons that are, that's there. Uh, I think, I think uh, Kane is going to be pushing that out to teachers. So it should already be installed for you. And I think most districts that when, when we're ready to go, we'll have that add-on installed. And then to open it, you just go to add-ons and open up the Nearpod add-on. It'll open up a little sidebar here and allow me to put in many, many different types of questions, uh, audio, draughts, Flipgrid, quizzes, polls, but I want to add a video. And so it'll ask me, what kind of video do you want to add? And I can choose from their video library. You can see all the different filters uh, that I can choose to find the content that I want. Uh, I can upload my own video. I can take videos I've already got. Um, if you've got something to drive that you want to use, cool and you can search YouTube videos. And so I'll do that, and you'll maybe notice this awesome teacher here, save. And then at about 11 seconds in. The water cycle describes the movement of water among the Earth's atmosphere, oceans, and land surface through evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Okay, so right there, I wanna add in a multiple choice question. And here we go. What process is not a part of the water cycle? Okay, and I'm just going to add in a few quick ones here evaporation, irrigation, condensation, precipitation. Okay, save it. Oh, I got to tell it which one's correct. Irrigation is not a part of the water cycle. Hope I didn't give away the answers there. Uh, but now when I go back to present that activity, I click save and it won't have help me for the session I'm doing right now. And it's possible because maybe my Chrome died and I'm just holding on to this slide. I've got a little nice message here that says, Chrome didn't shut down correctly and it wants to switch me back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, cancel. Let me stop my screen share. Maybe that'll fix it. It really doesn't want to let me back on that window. <laughs> okay, let's see. Right on. We got the idea. <laughs> I hope. Uh, let's all switch back to the uh, Nearpod window. I know that one's still going on. I hopefully can still get back to that. Um, so I added a YouTube video. It's, it's saved into my slideshow. Um, let me see if I can screen share one more time. 
It is not good when Chrome dies in the middle of your presentation. It really doesn't want me on that. And brother, there we go. Now what are you seeing? Okay, phew. All right, so now that video is in my slideshow. Uh, you can see I had the, the, the instruction there. How do I add a YouTube video? There's the slide. And then when I'm done, I click save and go to Nearpod. And then from there, that's where I launch my lesson. I get the code uh, for everyone to, uh, to uh, join the, the session. I get the links. I can put the links straight into Classroom. OK, questions so far? Hopefully, I haven't lost anybody. Any uh, watching the chat? Is there anything in the chat? OK. So you got to have that add-on to use Google Insights. You can build uh, the videos straight in Nearpod. Uh, I like to, to, uh, to build them in Google Slides a little better. It's a little bit easier for me. Um, and so here's the deal. On the next slide, uh, there is a place for you to fill out um, the role. And please give me your cactus name, like, like Christopher instead of Chris, uh, so that I know how to find you in Midas. And I don't have to bug you later to ask your, for your real name or your cactus ID. If you know your cactus ID, it'll be on the list. Um, and again, I know there are some people here. I'll be awarding Midas credit. And uh, it'll go on your Midas transcript. And you can turn those in for your reimagined teaching hours. If you haven't heard of the reimagined teaching project, if you do four hours of PD on your own uh, and sign up for the project between now and October 1st, you got to sign up by the 1st, uh, you'll get a $200 gift card. Uh, and the link will be here, and I'll put the link. Let's just put the link right in the. Uh, in the, uh, I'll put the link in the chat just to make sure everyone's got that. Okay, there that is. Okay, so you should have the uh, role in your in your Nearpod window, wherever you're following that along. Full name, school email address, Cactus ID if you know it. Uh, and then hit submit and I'll give us a minute there. So if there are any other questions on, on the Nearpod video or Nearpod or anything else, uh, we've got still about seven minutes to go. And then the next slide will be, uh, I'll turn you loose on Nearpod if you want to get logged in, uh, log in with your school account and take a look at the library and, and see just what's, what's available in there. No, and is it all right if I jump in for a second? Absolutely, please. Um, I just wanted, I know some of our teachers were using Edpuzzle during the shutdown, and mm -hmm. I just wanted to let them know that uh, if you've been using Edpuzzle and you like Edpuzzle, that this is probably where you want to go from here on out, just because Edpuzzle, I guess with the free version, you could only have- I think it was 20. 20 videos. 20 videos. Yeah. yeah, and so we had a lot of teachers asking to buy licenses for that. And this just eliminates any need for Edpuzzle. Just run it through Nearpod. It does, I mean, as far as I can see, it does exactly the same thing. We already have licenses for it and probably should be using it anyway, so. Yes, and when I, add, there's, when I end the session, I'll, I can go back to the reports and I can see exactly what everyone put in on the, on the real questions, on the video questions. Right now, there's, there's not a way to know if the student watched the video. Oh. They can still kind of maybe skip through it. Okay. Just fair warning. But if you other, if other you, than answering the questions, though. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. If they put the questions as. Yeah. Uh, Sandra, yes. Um, I, the, I'll give you a link to the uh, to the recording when we're done. No worries. Okay. Has everyone got that? Uh, let me let me check my. Uh, let's see. Where can I do that? Let's see how many folks I have in the. Uh, the role. I got 14 responses. So. Hey, Chris. Yeah. This is John Kane. I can't get into the role. I, it's not editing for me. I can't uh, edit. Let me give you, can you do it on the Nearpod window? Oh, did I give you the wrong link? Did oh, I didn't give you the link for it. Let me, let me share the link um, for the roll call. Um, where am I going to ask? Let's see. Here I got 15 responses. Link, copy. 
Okay, link is in the chat for the roll. Whoops, sorry, that just went to Sandra because she <laughs> replied to me. There you go. Oh, perfect, thank so you. There's the roll there, and yeah, and so that'll be there, that'll persist. So if you haven't finished the roll yet, I got 20 of you that- Okay, two uh, seconds, thank one. you. No, if you click on it from the chat, you'll be fine. Okay. And then here's the, uh, the Nearpod login screen. So if you just follow the link to uh, log in with Google, then it should take you right in. If you might, might have to ask, answer a couple questions uh, to allow Google to have access to your Nearpod stuff. But uh, like I said, when, when your school, if you, your school's already on, on board, then you'll be logged in and you'll see the extra libraries uh, that are available. If I log in with Google, it should take me right in. Uh, and so not only do you have the Nearpod library, you guys see on my screen, yep, you are. Uh, the three extra libraries that, that Utah has purchased is the Digital Citizenship and Literacy, College and Career Exploration, Social and Emotional Learning. And so those three are there. The video tool is available for you. Uh, and then the Google, or the lesson in Google Slides. So to make a video, I just click video right there. It'll, again, take me to their library, just like the, the window that I saw on the Google Slides side, except for bigger. And to find that video, I just clicked technology in sixth grade. And it was this, what is your, in your digital footprint video? So lots of different options there. You can search for uh, a topic, lots of stuff in there. And then plus just the Nearpod library of lessons or just Nearpod you know, lessons minus the video is, is gigantic, so. Gigantic. So I got Garfield County up last week. Oh, good. On your part. So we're, all us teachers are on it. Good deal. A lot of teachers are on it. Good, good. Any other questions on Nearpod or anything else? John, did you push out the, the add-on? No, thank you. I'm going to yeah. do that tonight when I get home. Okay. And so can you, Go ahead. Uh, so now we have complete access to Nearpad. All I have to do is sign in as a teacher. It depends. If your district has done the onboarding, okay, uh, then yes. If, if you see these three extra libraries there, then you're good. That's then I'm good. Okay. Yep. And to Thank make you. double sure, click on your roll up there in the upper right, and it should say doesn't say anything. But if it says you're on a demo or anything there, then you might just have to wait. So. Okay. But if you have those three extra libraries, then you're then I'm good. Thank you so yeah. much. Yep. Near library. Okay, near digital. Marnie asked a question. Uh, yep, the recording. I'll, here's the recording. Uh, this will go into my uh, YouTube playlist, and you can find that at bitly slash scdc ttt archives. So capital T's on that one. Uh, if you just go to that link now and and subscribe to it, you'll get notified when, when I post the videos. Okay, and we'll do this every week. Next week, we're gonna be talking about Flipgrid, uh, and then I'll figure out the rest of the schedule after that, but I think Chris might be on board to do some Sora eBooks, and we'll probably talk about maybe using Nearpod in general, and lots of other great things. So I appreciate you guys coming today. I wanna to keep it short. Uh, if you wanna stick around, if you do have any questions and you just wanted to, Wait, I will pause the recording uh, right now, if I can. And let's see, I'm 